Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. No hat today. I've given you a couple of days to get used to the fact that I've shaved my head. So here we are. There you have it. I love it. Look at there. <laughs> so fun. Anyway, we are going to work on a, um, a little pop-up for our book. I actually used my larger book for this project and she has a little flip-up hat that I put a flower on. So it was very, very fun. Uh, cloudy day here in Vallejo. Looks like we might get some more rain, which is a great thing here. So uh, not much to chatter about today. Um, yep, see on the table. Okay, ready to see our project for today? Okay. Here she is. Oh, <laughs> isn't she magnificent? Okay, watercolor paper under her, watercolor paints on top of underpants with a spray of alcohol, fun focal points, um, stabilo, unipen for some markings, fun little hat. I think that's all. Okay, let's talk about the supplies that we're going to use today. Not in this order, but I am using my large book again today because I'm working with a larger uh, focal point. 7 by 10, actually, Dina. 7 by 10, okay? So my larger book, I'll be using a large, gorgeous focal point. And then I think I'm going to put this underneath her on the page. I need and this would be a 10 by 12. I have alcohol. I have gesso. Gesso. I have my watercolor paints. I have underpants. So we're going to start off by putting underpants on our book. So this page is already a sturdy page. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue two of these pages together with my Mod Podge. I will be strengthening it quite a bit with the watercolor paper, but I still want the pages to be nice and sturdy and strong. I haven't taken too many pages out of this book. I'm sure that I'll be doing that very soon. We all know that we cannot close our altered books once they are all full of yummy goodies. All right, and I'm gonna cover these two pages with some fun underpants, old book text. Now I do use my baby blue for a lot of things. It can take a lot of abuse. So I use it for the Mod Podge. And what I would like to see you do is really make sure that all the edges of those underpants are tucked down, okay? Nobody likes their underpants to be sticking out. And this baby blue brush can take that pressure and really push those pages down. Do not have to let this dry. I'm going to grab my silicone brush and my gesso, and I'm just going to put a thin layer of gesso on my underpants there, on my pages. Not a real thick one, so. They do not have to be completely covered. We are going to be playing more with these pages. This 
So the gesso's on there, but you can still see through the gesso to the underpants. And now we let that dry. All right, these pages are just about dry. I have chosen green and ochre in my watercolors. And you know that I like my watercolors really, really intense in their colors, really, really juicy. So I get in there and dig around and dig around and dig around until I can get a really intense color. Because you can, even though they're watercolors, you can still get a very intense color. It's getting more intense, getting darker. That's what I'm after. And paint both pages with some fun, intense watercolor paints. Okay, when you've got a nice intense color on there with your watercolor, go ahead and dry both pages. Now I'm going to bring the green in. And it's the same situation. I really like it to be juicy, even though it's a watercolor paint. which they tend to be kind of translucent. And I need for it to be, ooh, look at that pretty splatter. That's kind of fun. And I need for it to be nice and wet because I'm going to ask the alcohol to um, act with it. So we shall see what happens here. All right, let's see. Yes. Beautiful. Let's do the other page. While that's wet, we will spray it. Beautiful. Okay, that's a very fun background. All right, let's bring the focal point in. I'm going to glue her down with a glue stick, and then I am going to glue this down as well. Looks like I better tuck that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue stick this onto her and her little bit of hair. So no watercolor paper yet. Now I'm going to glue her onto the watercolor paper. It's got some beautiful prints on there. This, I'm going to drop it down about an inch when I glue her down. Okay, here we go. Glue stick on. So this magazine, The Rocks, is from a much cheaper magazine than The Doll's Face. So there's a definite difference in how they feel and how they glue. If you are a Patreon uh, benefit, if you are a Patreon member, 
you have received this focal point, which I think she's a little pixie fun. And just make sure she's all glued down. Isn't she adorable? Oh my goodness. I'm going to let her dry. Then I'm going to cut her out. I'm going to cut this out uh, with my X-Acto. Put it on my mat and just go around and cut it out. Do yourself a favor and use a sharp blade. All right, I'm going to grab my black soot and uh, cover the edges around the back. All right, I'm going to take my black soot dabber and I am just going to go around some of these wider edges. I can't get them all because they're too small in there. That's okay. I am okay with that. And I do not want to get ink on her face. That much I know. I've grabbed a Q-tip. Help me get in those hard to reach places. So just do the best you can getting some of those white edges covered. Your Stabilo will help, of course. All right, look at her. She's gorgeous. All right, I'm going to take my image, and I am going to score her. So that I can fold her. Fold her in half. Okay. Let's make her a hat. I have a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbooking paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to remove that white edge. I'm going to bring my focal point back in that I have folded in half. And let's see, need to be we'll go a little bit past that. Some place in here. We are going to take that section off that we don't need. I'm going to Mod Podge this together because I want it to be a nice sturdy sheet. Oh, 
Okay, nice and stuck together. And I'm going to create a hat for our girl so it can come in a little bit and then up. So let's fold it in half again. You can wait until it's dry. I'm not going to. Bone folder, please. And I'm going to come in a little bit, just make it curved. And then straight up. this section down about even with this So this part's going to fold this way, and this part's going to fold that way. So when we open it up, she will have a hat. Alright, we are going to glue her in. She's going to go here, her hat is going to go here, close, open, we'll put a flower or something up there. Let's just get her glued in, shall we? I think so. We are going to use tacky glue on her. She's so big. <laughs> we'll use tacky glue on her to glue her down. It's raining outside. She has a crease in her face. I'm okay with that. So I'm opening the book or I'm closing the book just a little bit so that I can get her right in that crease. And let's grab her hat. I'm going to take that up to the edge of the page. So I'm going to put tacky glue on the back of this. Lay this down. Take it to the edge of the page. Oh, she's so cute! And I will put some wax paper or some deli sheets on her and put some heavy books on her so that she will stay flat. And then we'll come back and play with her some more. 
she is amazing okay she's pretty dry and she's pretty big <laughs> So we are going to embellish that hat. Have some fun with this piece. Okay, this is how I am going to uh, play with this piece. I'm going to put this here and here, and I'll put this rose here. So that's very fun. I'm going to use my glue stick and just glue them down. See if I can get her all on screen. She's great. All right, stabilo time. So I'm going to go around all the edges with my stabilo and all the edges of all of the focal points. stabilo around the rose and the edge of her hat. We're working with a pretty open canvas here so being very generous with the stabilo. I'm just going to make some markings. And I'm going to go around just the edge of the page. Just have some fun here. So I have some words left here from the magazine. I'm okay with that. So I'm just going around all the focal points with my dashes. And there we go. There she is. <laughs> Every bit of her. So this does fold down. I'm going to wait until all of this dries. I'll recrease this. That does fold down. Our door, our uh, book does close. And then you'll. this will be a pop-up. Very fun. All right. Your turn. Go create. Go play. 
go have fun.